Hey guys, FNAF Master XP here. Today, we're we'll playing Cuphead, the new Let's Play. Now, if it will give me a second. Now, I'm not wondering why it says 65%. We're going to be starting a different save file because I originally recorded like two thirds of the game, but you could barely hear my mic. And I figure that you guys would probably like me to play it from the beginning. So, here we go. It won't, it doesn't really hurt too much because I love this game. So, we'll be alright. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under their watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite their, the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice, nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's new owner, the Devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he, suggest, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and, I, all, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mug Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The, the brothers pleaded for their very lives. There, there must be another way, way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, p please, Mr. Cuphead added. <clears throat> mm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have, a, I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil. But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fate. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out too dry. Or hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to... Excuse me, you need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. This is where the tutorial is, obviously. So you can duck, jump. You can dash, descend, you can shoot. If you stay still, you can lock. Or not if you stay still, I mean, you kind of can, but if you hold whatever button it is to lock, you can aim in any direction. You can parry. Which is kind of like an airborne double jump. Uh, if you're in two-player mode, you can parry the little ghost. And there you go. The coin. Uh, yeah. Let's you collect things from the shop. Now that we're on our way out, there are a couple things we can do. First of all, we can go over to the apple. We talk to him. We get three coins. So he says, hey guys, good to... Oh wait, yeah, I didn't read the first thing. Okay, well I should probably read that next time. Because I'm stupid. Anyways, we're going to start off by getting the smoke bomb over at Toy Crimes Emporium. And we're going to go into the first level. The first level, which is going to be a running gun. Where, where's the charm? There it is. The first level, which could be a running gun. Forest Follies. This level is pretty cool, I guess. So, 
So... Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> Oh, I parried. I should probably shoot, but I'm not going to. No, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do this without killing a single enemy. I can do it. Oh my gosh. probably stop the BS. I know what this does if you don't kill an enemy. So, if you don't kill a single enemy on every single running gun level, you get uh, a P rank, which stands for pacifist. Um, and that comes from not killing a single enemy. And if you get all six running gun levels done, something special happens. Or at least getting a P rank on them all. Now, any more, okay. Any more, this won't, wouldn't be such a challenge, especially since we have the DLC and stuff. Now, I don't even know why I exited. Um, if I go around to here, as you can see back here, there's a little thing. Uh, I can't go back there, wow. Okay. We'll do the, we'll, we'll finish this running gun level, get another shot, and then we're gonna go do something. But for now, let's just finish Forest Follies, normally. Oh, crap. Crud. The rest of this level is re really easy. There we go. So the smoke bomb, by the way, I should have mentioned this. The smoke bomb allows you to do a dash without getting hit um which is very very nice at least the distance it covers makes it not makes you not get hit it does cover a little bit less distance i think by just a little bit than the normal dash at least from my knowledge it does but at the same time you get an invincible dash so that's pretty nice now we're going to go down here and do the first boss uh the root pack This boss is very simple and easy. So we're just going to sit here, shoot. Mmm, okay. Okay. 
Oh, that didn't even, that didn't even hit, it, hit him. There we go. That should be an A minus. Actually, that should be an A plus. Yeah. Not very hard. Um, the goal throughout the series is to get three hundred percent. Um, which involves going through the entire game in DLC on expert and normal. The first extra shot we're going to get is the roundabout. It's very, very helpful. So if we go around to here, yes, we should be able to go down to here and we get to see a mausoleum or mausoleum. Mausoleums feature parry challenges. Um, and it gets you better at parrying with like Cuphead and stuff. But there's something else that we're going to get from here after doing this. And usually, well, you'll just see. I'll explain what I'm doing whenever it gets that time. Should be one more. Nope. That's the last one. Yep. This is the legendary chalice. Gosh, I don't know how I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the legendary chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other mausoleums around Equal Isle. I just wonder. Now, we unlock Super Art 1. Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical Super Arts have to be equipped in the menu before use. We now have Super Art 1. And a boat appears. Normally, I wouldn't... My original plan was not to do anything in the DLC before going on to the main game. That way it flows better. But there's something very specific I need to do here really quickly. And then I can go straight back to the base game. Because we're not going to do any of the bosses yet. What could Legendary Chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. Jump in, Jelly Beans. You boys made it. I have the most amazing news. And all it has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. It worked. It really worked. I'm alive again. But now I'm a ghost. What's going on here? Everything has gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys. I can explain everything. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the Astral Plane, but nothing worked. Until now, boys, let me introduce you to... Chef Saltbaker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Miss Chalice, I see my cookies worked wonders on you. Oh, my stars. I'm a ghost again. Oh, my, a finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. This wonder tart could bring Chalice back to life for good, no swapping places or nothing. Indeed, just one problem. The recipe requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the wonder tart is what it, tastes, it, was what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly we'll find those ingredients. Not today, but... Stay on your guard, Intrepid Cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of your wit and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart, so heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Well, 
One more thing, chaps. Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to battle as Miss Chalice. And that is exactly what we were looking for. The astral cookie. The recipe for Miss Chalice. This is a little tutorial on how to use Miss Chalice. So instead, we have a parry dash, which makes it a lot easier to parry. A double jump and a dodge roll, which gives you some invincibility. So it's kind of like the smoke bomb. If we talk to this cat thing, extra, extra, chef, salt baker awarded best baker in all the lands. Oh, you marks from around here? This aisle is full of tough nuts and your noodle arms aren't going to wrench it. Why don't you come back after a few more tussles? In fact, have some gar cabbage on me. You need like you look like you need it. Three gold coins. Now if we go back here. And all the way to the very back, we also get another gold coin. Or I actually think you can also like... Yeah, you can use it to go down... Through here. Anyways, that's all the DLC stuff we're going to do until we actually get there. I just wanted to be able to have the Miss Chalice charm. That way it's easier to play through the game. Aisle 1. And what better way to show what Miss Chalice does than by going and defeating the root pack again. Just to show you how much different she is than normal. So if we go to the root pack, you'll see that she's a lot different. So cool. First of all, it's a cool little animation, and voila. Oh, I forgot. The parry's different. Her parry is a lot easier to perform. She also has a different super art as well, I should mention. Normally with Cuphead's energy beam super art, it goes like left to right. Hers goes up to down. Which is actually going to be really good for this last phase because it's up and down. As you can see. That's all it took. And we got an achievement. Defeat a boss with Miss Chalice. Three HP, three parries, six super meters. Perfect skill level. Good. A plus. Perfect score. Let's go to the shop. Pork Rinds Emporium. We can now buy another shot. The next shot we're going to buy is the Lobber. I find this personally be personally to be the second best shot, at least for early game, and not including DLC shots. So, what else we're we gonna do now? We're gonna go into Forest Follies to do this run and gun level, pacifist strength. Cause it's actually really simple, with with Miss Chalice. Ah, uh, close, close. I hope, I, I don't know. I hope shooting a shot doesn't really count, but I don't know how picky this thing is, so.
Okay, I need to be more careful. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I need to play more careful. Okay, here we go. We got this. Oh my gosh. And there we go. Bravo. We didn't kill a single enemy, which means we're going to get a P rank on the first level. At least on the first running gun. So a P rank is a pacifist rank. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, like I said, uh, all six P ranks, because there's six running gun levels, means that we're going to get something pretty cool. It's not really pretty cool, but it, it's just something a little neat. Now we can move on to the second boss, Goopy Lagrande, in Ruse of an Ooze. So we have the Roundabout and Lobber ready. Roundabout does a lot of damage. And we can use Lobber while we're sitting here like that. As you can see. We're already to his second phase, which is kind of insane. There we go. He's already on his next phase. As you can see, he dies super fast. It's pretty much an insta kill. I have to use the beam. We get an A. We could just get an A. Okay, cool. I don't know how it could be a brand new record if I just beat it, but okay. Now we go over to here, and we're going to be fighting... Oh, okay. Let's talk to this guy. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit until you study those blueprints. What does that mean? Aeroplane blueprint. Awesome! The airplane. So we could shoot for rapid fire... Normally, Cuphead has a little uh, straight fire. Miss Chalice has a spread. Let me get some things ready. So you can see, we can shoot out these little magnets. And we become a missile. So Cuphead's special for the first thing, shoots out like a little rocket. And his super um, is a normal bomb that doesn't immediately, like, lift off. Both of them can turn tiny and have these little pellets. They're the exact same in their tiny forms. Hildeberg and Threatening Zeppelin.
Oh, this is the twins. Oh, no, it's not? Okay. To a new player, this fight's probably really tough, but I'm not new to the game at all. I've played the entire thing 300% on my Switch. So I know a thing or two about how to play. Oh, I got hit. Wow. Really stupid hit, too. Sit here and unload. What's she doing? Oh, what the? Okay. That's kind of creepy. I don't know if the magnets are better than the missiles or not. There we go. Yep, that's an S, or not an S, an A+. Plus. There we go, diggity dogster. A+. Plus. Next we have Treetop Trouble, which is another run and gun level. This one's a bit harder, um... We're going to try to get a P rank with all the coins this time. I still think having Miss Chalice will be, be will be helpful. I don't think parrying an enemy counts towards the... That counts against me, so we're just going to have to hope it doesn't. We'll see, though. If it does, that sucks. This one, though, it's all about patience, really. As I just sit here and rush. Okay, that's nice. Okay, thank you, game. Thanks for being so nice. Okay, I, I'm not gonna settle with that. Just be safe, we're not gonna parry any enemies, because I don't know whether or not that counts against me or not, and I don't wanna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, yeah. The fact that I made it all the way up here with, like, no trouble at all is actually kind of surprising. There we go. P rank number two. I, I, I don't know why it still kills the thing, even though I didn't really kill it, but... As you can see, it's a P rank for me. The highest score, technically. I mean, A plus is probably a little bit higher, but P ranks look nicer, because you get a little P on the flag, so, I mean... Next... 
the final boss of this world. Actually, we're going to do something before we do that. We're going to get the spread shot. And the charge shot. We'll save the converge later. Charge shots can be helpful in World 3, but I'm just still quite a while away, but... I know for sure I wanted to have spread for this fight. Um, oh, converge would have been amazing for this fight. I should have just waited till later. Dang it. I'm stupid. Because converge and um, spread are really good for this fight, but it's fine. Converge because you can hit them double. But then again, I do need to get parries as soon as possible. So I'd probably like insta-kill them. So little tip with walls, you could just kind of sit there against the wall. No, okay. I kind of forgot about that. That she has the upwards laser, and it's not even what I wanted to do. So in this case, Cuphead would probably be better for this fight. Unless I had, like, Ghostly Barrage, but I don't. I really want snakes. Snakes, please? Okay, this isn't even... This is not much better. This is not much worse. Okay. Ooh. Ye. Okay, there we go. There. Let's say, how's that thing not dead? But there we go. That should be an A plus, I would think. I don't care if I get an A plus as long as I get an A minus at the very least. Yep. Like, a, getting A pluses doesn't bother me. Getting a, I just need to get the A minuses for all the achievements. There we go. Rivian Croaks, the Soul Contract. That was not the final boss. I lied. We have to do Cagney Carnation. Which I honestly kind of want to do with the charge shot. Because why not? That was super easy. I, I think I got only five of the things off, though. I might have gotten six, but I'm not sure. We'll see. No, I got six. I should be. I should get an A minus, even though I only got one parry. Yep. Good. As you can see, the axe guy is now in a different place. Meaning that we can come around to here and snatch the coin. We now have all the coins in Inkwell Isle 1. Enter the house. And we're going to do Inkwell Isle 2 today as well, because it's not that much harder. Uh, Mr. King Das. Uh, 
I didn't read that, but it was something about remarking. I should have read it. Guys, hang on. Thank the stars I caught up with you. I believe I believe I found a way to, uh, out of this mess you're in. Hot dog, you have? Your strength is growing. You'll soon be a match for that no good King Dice and maybe even the devil himself. Golly, do you really think? I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that friend, on that fiend. So when that time comes, do the right thing. No. Okay, yes, I will. Fine, but... If we talk to this guy... Good timing, fellas. I just added an upgrade on your aeroplanes. Now you can wall up your foes with bombs. Just switch your weapon whenever it strikes your fancy. Try it out. Your aeroplanes are equipped with mini bombs. Switch your weapon anytime during battle. Okay. We're about to do Bar Baroness von Bonbon and spread shot and roundabout is the best combo for this fight. At least I think it is. I think Chaser or Crack Shot might be better for a different phase of the fight, but that, that, that's a maybe, so I don't know. Oh, I forgot I don't have Smoke Bomb. Okay. I'm retrying. That was sad. Um, We need to make sure we get three parries. Oh, this one's so easy. All her, her, this entire boss is really easy. It's the last, it's like the last phase. It's this... The last phase is kind of tough, but that's it. Do, is color bleed still on? No. Cause color bleed makes it look really weird. Okay, okay, the resolution. I can't tell which one's the best. That looks so much better. Oh my gosh. It was because the quality was on was low. Oh my gosh, that looks so much cleaner. No wonder why it looked like dog trash compared to the Switch. That's good to know now. This is the perfect time to use the step. It's the perfect time to use super with on Miss Chal with Miss Chalice. There we go. I hope that's not an A rank at all. That's not an A rank at all. Okay, it is an A minus rank. Thank goodness. If it wasn't, I would have been sad. Uh, I was lucky. Okay. You can't catch me unless you take a shortcut. That's what some punk's ki punk kids said to me last week. It's the only way they could have beat me to the ride. Say, maybe you could show me where their shortcut is around here? Well, back here, if you walk all the way around, it will take you over to Grim Matchstick's castle. That guy's talking about getting four in a row parries. But now, as you can see, we have found Funhouse Frazzle. Um, which one's this one? Oh, no! 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 
I hate this one. It's so dumb. Okay, I don't even know how I did that. Thank goodness. Okay, wow. Oh, I remember how to get through this. You have to wait for all the cars to get through. And for his mouth to open. It's so annoying. Okay, we're gonna need to retry. Okay, this is gonna be fun. And that's how you get through them. These little rocket guys are so annoying. Okay. Don't ask me how I pulled that off, because I don't even know. Okay, so you're, you're not going to let me dodge the second one? That's nice. Thank you. Miss Chalice screwed me up. No. Oh, I shouldn't have dashed. Okay, Miss Chalice actually makes this a whole lot easier. Okay, I want to be able to get through that. Thank you. Okay, so if I'm up here, do I have to... Yeah. Oh, Okay, I got too greedy there. There we go. Oh my gosh. Dang it. It's going to take a while to get through this little part here, my gosh. Don't let them don't let them spawn the duck in again, please. Okay, thank God. Um, explain that to me, game, but okay. Oh my gosh, let me go to the right side. I keep forgetting that I have to just jump. I have to just do a dodge roll.
Why can't I just go above that? That was so dumb. And then I couldn't, like, find a place to go to. My gosh, this is hard. Parry dash is great and all because it's way easier to parry. But oh my gosh, it's so nice to be able to like just do it normal. As long as I don't have to do with those duck things, I'd be right, all right. But the ducks make it like, thirty times harder. Okay, wait. No ducks. No ducks. No ducks. They're gonna come from the top side again. Oh no, they're not. They lied. Oh my gosh, I hate this level. It is so dumb. Dash as fast as I can. No ducks, please, thank God. Okay, so they're gonna come for the top side unless it lies. Okay, so it didn't lie this time. You can every once in a while get away with jumping over those rocket things if you're lucky. Let me tell you this, you are not going to get lucky with those things. How did it spawn up there? That doesn't usually happen. Fine. <sighs> kind of forgot I could do that. Uh, I, I need to stop parrying things because I'm 99% I'm sure it counts. It still counts as killing an enemy. So if it does not lie, it should be, yeah. Fine. So should we the top one? Please, yes, thank you. Okay. There's no real stopping that there, getting hit. You can if you're lucky enough, but it's not easy.
Why is there things everywhere? Am I just gonna spend like an hour on this and that's gonna be the video? I really hope not. I want to go over all of Inkwell Isle 2, but my gosh, if this is going to be it, then the video might be sh like a lot less than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, though. We'll see. Okay, thank you for closing the door. Okay. Thank you. Finally... Oh my gosh! Um... How? Okay, I have to have an extra hit point to tank. So I can use my invincibility frames. So I have to be there with at least two health. And use invincibility frames. So if this thing does not okay. Just have to wait again. It's easier to do it when it comes from the top. Okay. You can only take one hit. Please come from the top. Of course you don't. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. I'm jumping on the platform! Do you not see that? Do you not see that? I'm jumping on the platform and it pushes me underneath it. Brother! Oh my gosh. Brother. Okay, come from the top. Thank you. Okay, I don't... It, if How is that eye or that wall at all a hitbox? It should really only be the crap that comes out of it, not his... Not the wall. Again, they don't like hitboxes? What?
And what's annoying is I... I probably could have beaten it too if I had that extra hit point, which... Oh my gosh. Hmm. I wonder if my dodge rolls long enough to where I can just... Huh. I wonder if my dodge rolls long enough to where I can just dodge roll through them. I hope it is. I doubt it though. Okay, top. Thank you. Is there something wrong, game? Oh my gosh. This game has horrible hitboxes for those platforms. Of course. I knew that was going to happen, too. Oops, sorry I accidentally touched a coin. My bad, dog. How can- Okay, never mind. I'm gonna stop complaining and just do it. Oh my gosh. One second. Okay, can I like... I'm retrying. I... I like this game, but my gosh, this is the worst thing they did. Like, I did anything they should have changed about this game is changed this entire level, because it's so dumb to get a P rank on. And I know, it was, I know it's supposed to be challenging to get the P ranks, but like... My gosh. Oh, of course I hit the thing! The thing was open! And, like, I'm all down for it hitting me when it's well-deserved. If crap like that happens, it should not have hit me. And I should be able to go through, but... We'll see where it lands. Okay, good. Nope, I'm not gonna get that. That stupid cord. Always in the way. And the door was open!
Thank God. And I already have to retry. Dang it. How long have I been... I, I don't even know how long I've been recording for. I've probably been recording for over an hour. and Like, most of it's been spent on this. My gosh. Yeah, screw your stupid little... Thingies. Holy crap, I might actually get somewhere this time. That, that hitbox is broken or something. How do you... Oh, yes! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that, that was more... That made more sense after I actually got through there. I don't even want to know how long I've been recording for. Is there a way I can look at that? To know how long I've been recording for? In like my recording and stream thing? I've been recording for an hour! <laughs> and most of that time was spent on that level. Um... I'm not stopping yet. Uh, we're going to go through the entirety of World 2. It's going to be like a long play, I guess. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Should I just make this a long play of the entire game of Cuphead? Let's do it, because why not? Uh, wait. Yeah, I'll have time. A big old long play. We're going to get the Converge next. A nice old long play. This is going to be fun. Uh, we can now go up here and get the Mausoleum 2. Dang, that took so long. And we have to use normal Cuphead. Fun. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, and 2. Oh my gosh. I might cut some of that out. I probably will. If I know how to. I don't know how to. I'm stupid, but... But I didn't know I'd get trapped again. Thanks for saving me a second time. Take this magical super art, and I'll see if I can find you another. Okay. Super art 2. Super art 2 is shield pal from his chalice and his invincibility for Cuphead and Mugman. Hmm. Let's go back around. Hmm. Actually, before we go back around, there's a secret coin. So if you look at this thing right here, there's a little yellow spot. If you look really closely near this bush, if you go over that, there's a coin there that you can collect. And you'll no longer see the yellow. It'd be like a white. And you just need to come around through here. Back again.
If we go back here, we will see this thing. At last, I thought I'd never see another living soul again. I was lost searching my way, or I was lost, I lost my way while searching for coins. No one has money for haircuts these days, thanks to that blasted casino. Well, I'd better get back to my pals in the quartet. Thanks, fellas. I knew there was a faster way across the island. Now I'll be on the rides all again. Here, take this coin as, a way of, as my way of saying thanks. That was unlocked by going the back way around the shortcut and coming back. Well, it's time to get our next P rank. This should be a way, way easier than the other one. Like, a whole lot easier, in fact. So we're here. One, two. One, two, three. Okay. I can't do four in a row, really. I just suck. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. We have all four we need. And we can use a super art for a free heart. So this shield bubble, this shield pal will run around with you everywhere you go. Which is actually a lot better than Cuphead's invincibility, because while you get like a, like a few seconds of invincibility with Cuphead and Bugman, this thing can last quite a while if you use it properly. Um. Eh. Um, yeah, there was no way I was doing that. But hey, we have the four parries in a row now, so that's cool. Although I actually would like to do that parry thing again so I can get a, a shield pal up. Okay, I need to retry. It shouldn't be taking this long, but it is. Probably because I'm stupid. Two, three, four, five. Super. Two, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay, I'm just losing health overall. If I can get at least get one super art and maintain four health, that's all I want. Just to have an extra fifth point of HP. There we go. 5 HP. In a sense, really, is what that is. Hey, I can get a 6 later. This music sounds like Mario World. Okay, now we have 5. Now we can get a 6 HP point later. Or another HP point later if I need it. That should help a lot. Primarily with this part here. And that's why we saved that bit of HP. Hey, maybe you're asking, FNAF Master XP, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you go through and get pacifist ranked? Or why, why would you go through all this trouble just to get a pacifist rank? 
because I can. And it's cool. There we go. Pass a fist on the fourth running gun. And all five coins as well. Meaning we're going to be even more rich. That's almost a perfect as a perfect P rank as well. Should be a P perfect. That sounds really dumb. But we're good. We have the bridge opened. Everything's going great. How many bosses do we have left? Four. Fun. Um, let's go over to the shop again and buy some stuff. Some stuff. Some things we might need. We got the charge shot. Crack shot's nice. And instead of taking more shots, because I don't like the twist up at all, we'll get we'll get a we'll get. Uh, I don't like either of these. We're gonna get some charms. Pea sugar kind of sucks, but there's like one level it's good for. Um, now we need to go fight everything else. We are going to start. With Wally Warbles. I'm gonna... No, no, we won't. That fight's too hard. Uh, we're gonna start with Jimmy the Great. Jimmy the Great is very, very difficult. Um, not very difficult at all, actually. On Expert, he's a pain, but... On Normal, he's really not that bad. Like, he can cause some difficulties. Like, getting parries in is not the hardest thing in the world. And you need to keep using supers and whatnot. Oh, the bombs. Yeah. Miss Chalice has little mini bombs. Which are literally just the normal bombs. But, like, way, way better. The normal bombs... Actually, it's a lot different than the normal bombs. The normal bombs aren't, like, rapid fire. They're, like, single, slow-firing bombs that do more damage than the base attack. But these little bombs here are a lot, lot faster. So the strat here is to use a super here. And to just dodge whenever we need to. And as you can see, it immediately dies. Then we just start spamming bombs here. And the reason why we used one a super there is because we can get enough parries here to get another super. And plus this phase is really not even that bad. Go ahead and use another super art. As you can see, it died. And now we just kind of sit here and keep shooting until he dies. Pretty simple crap. Should be an A minus, I would think. Yep. Nice. Not even that hard. The only boss that the only other boss I'm thinking of that would give us too much trouble would be Grim Matchstick, and that's because he's he's harder on regular than he is expert. Mainly because even though he has more health on expert, like quite like. A, quite a bit more health. Um, it's a lot easier because the platforms move in the opposite direction. And that's why it is like a heck of a lot easier. Do I even have the correct... I do not even... Actually, yes, I do. I lied. I do have the correct setup. Let's say I thought I didn't have the right setup, but I do. No, I needed to parry that. It's fine. Um, for this phase, it's really, really easy. Just use spread shot and start going to town. Use these whenever, you, whenever possible, and he'll go down in like three shots. I'm gonna go ahead and parry that. Because I didn't get to go underneath him. Use my 
pounder route. That's very nice. I, I got two greens. Good, we have an extra heart. It'd be funny if this train just starts going like mega fast out of nowhere. <laughs> this phase is also pretty easy. Just keep using those. And be up in his face the whole time with the spread. And yeah, it's done quick. Which I mean, that's okay. I got it. I got an A plus. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. A perfect score. You can see we're now going a lot faster. Hopefully, it stays this way. Um, for the next fight, we're going to be doing Grim Matchstick. Um, he's not hard at all, really. He can be a little bit of a pain, but really not that bad. The only tricky part is his second phase. That's all I can really think of that's really too hard about him. His second phase. Oh, this is not the fight for Bichalis at all. Getting enough parries for this is rough. As you can see, we're already on phase two. That's just because Lobber eats this guy up. Yeah, we're already here. From here on out, we just keep spamming EXs until he dies. Oh, that was actually really bad. I... That's not an A minus. No. That's not an A minus at all. I only got two parries. One parry. No. And I have to go through it again. Good grief. I am going to switch off of Miss Chalice, though. She's not the one at all for that fight. I don't care, game. Smoke bomb. Super art one. There we go. This should take him down pretty easily. We just can't take any damage. I mean, we can as long as we get the parries we need. There we go. That'll take them down. That's an A plus for shizzles. That was better, yeah. Cuphead is 
is a hundred percent what you need to use for that. A hundred percent. Okay, time to go around and do Wally Warbles. The last fight, I think, yeah. Yep, last fight of this entire uh, world. And then we have to go to World 3, which is worse. And I'm going to actually, after this boss, stop it. This is a really long video, and I'm going to have to cut out a couple things. Like, uh, primarily the running gun stuff. If I can even figure out how to cut that out. I think this will be easier for Wally. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'd say it should almost be dead. I would think it would be. We're going to use a super here. Because this is the hardest phase of the entire thing. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. What did I hit? I'm using Miss Chalice. I should have gotten the parry ring for plane fights because the parry ring's kind of the best thing. That or the divine relic, which I'll cover later. Whenever we get to there. Well, I don't even have the divine relic because it's really stupid to get. Oops. I was ready for that one. I don't even know why I did that, but it's fine. Now I really don't know why I did that. That might have been it. I'm, 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 I'm thinking it might be. Yes, Siri Bob. We're gonna go talk to King Dice in the second dice shop, and after that, I'll, we're gonna end the video because I've been recording for probably like two freaking hours. Um, just to catch back up to where I was in World Three.
It honestly wasn't even that bad. Um, let's go over to world three, inkwell three. Looks like I might have underestimated you bums. You gave it to them debtors, but good. Go over on to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. Ha ha ha. A toodaloo. The little mugs have some fight in them. I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them debtors. You see, I knew there was something special about the fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little finks try anything, I'll be waiting. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.